Hello everyone, my name is Infinity and this is Magnetize Yourself, where we talk about life, love, spirituality, and of course, the law of attraction. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you soul connection signs, signs that you are spiritually connecting with another person. But first, let me give a quick shout out to my website, Sound and Soulful. In addition to being a speaker here on this channel, I am a subliminals creator. I create audio meditation tracks that contain subliminal messages designed to help you access and harness the power of your own subconscious mind. And the reason I am so passionate about subliminals is because research has shown that 95% of our thoughts, actions, and outcomes in life are actually coming from this subconscious part of the brain. And yet nearly every law of attraction process is only working on that conscious 5%. So if you want to learn how to meditate with subliminals and use these meditation tracks to shift your subconscious mind and effortlessly manifest anything you desire in life, check the description box for more information. Signs that you are connected to someone at a soul level. These soul connection signs could indicate that you are connecting with someone on a soul level either platonically or romantically. These aren't exclusively romantic signs. Many people when they hear of soulmates automatically think of love and romance. But the truth is, our soulmates aren't individual romantic relationships. We have an entire web of soulmates here on this planet. You have a web of soulmates alive right now, just waiting for you to meet them or perhaps people that you've already met. And in this video, I'm going to help you identify who these soul connections are, who you are spiritually connecting to, so that the next time you meet a soulmate, you're going to recognize them. The first sign of a soul connection, of a soulmate, either platonic or romantic, is that when you meet this person, you hit it off immediately. You and this person have this rapport between you instantly and sometimes to the point where you almost feel as if you know what this person is going to say or you know some of what they've gone through. You understand them. You just get one another. This kind of deep level familiarity happens between two souls who have lived many lifetimes together and who in fact contracted, decided with one another that they were going to meet in this lifetime. Which leads me into sign number two of a soul connection, which is there were strange or seemingly very coincidental circumstances around your meeting. It seems as if you were just fated to meet them. Call it right place, right time, or just a complete coincidence. But as we know, and as we often say on this channel, there are no coincidences. And again, the reason that you meet this person in this specific strange series of circumstances is because that's what you decided. Oftentimes, another aspect of your meeting with a soul connection is that not only does the meeting feel coincidental or fated, but it feels so natural. And the moment you meet this person or connect to this person in the physical world, they instantly become 
a close friend or if it's a romantic partner, they may quickly spark into a romance with you almost right away. And once this person is in your life, it will feel as if they have always been in your life because they have. Sign number three of a soul connection. This is something that occurs after you meet a soul connection. So often, highly evolved souls will be highly individualistic. What I mean by a highly evolved soul is I literally mean a soul who has lived many lifetimes, what we call old souls. Old souls have been through so many lives, experiences, connections, that they often enter this lifetime with a very individualistic spirit. They are capable of handling a lot of things on their own, and sometimes because of this, they will go long periods of time just doing their own thing, not connecting as much with other people. It's just in their nature. However, with a soul connection, if you meet someone you are connected with at a soul level, a soulmate, and over time you grow apart or you talk less, maybe you move to different geographical locations or you fall out of touch. With a soul connection, the moment you start talking again or you meet up for coffee, whatever it is, you will instantaneously pick up where you left off. And this is because No time or space or distance exists within these soulmate connections. In other words, they are still alive, very much alive, even when you aren't in contact with this person. So if you have that one friend that it seems like you could go years without talking, and then all of a sudden you pick up and you're able to instantly start where you left off every time, no matter how much time or space or distance seemed to be between you. This very well could be a soulmate. And speaking of the illusion of time within soulmate connections, the next sign of a soul connection would be that when you're together, sometimes you feel as if time doesn't exist. You could get in a conversation with them and once you get started, you could just start sharing ideas and thoughts and stories back and forth so much so that you completely lose track of time. There's a strange kind of connecting that goes on between us and our soul connections. In my twin flame videos, I talked about how when you're in the presence of your twin flame, you could feel as if the whole world melts away because you're caught up into this higher dimension where only the two of you exist. Well, in a sense, to a different extent, this also can happen with our soulmate connections, even the platonic ones. You may feel as if when you're in a room with dozens or hundreds of people, when you're out in public with this person, that you and this person are still in your own little world. It's like you're connecting in a space of your own where everything else fades away, time seems to fade away. This could be a sign of a soulmate connection. And one final bonus sign of a soul connection that I find very interesting, but I don't think I've ever heard someone talk about it. When you are out in public with this person, you will have an energy together that other people will notice. It's kind of hard to put into words, but when you're out in public with this person, you will feel this, you will feel, it's hard to find a word for it besides powerful. You and this person will carry a presence together. When you walk into the room, people may look at you or find themselves staring at you or watching you. And it's because when we are connecting in the physical with a soul connection, the energy between us is amplified. So together you are projecting this powerful magnetic shared aura that then others are drawn to. 
that other people notice and see when you're out together and that you may even be able to sense or feel yourself. I hope these signs were helpful or interesting for you in determining what soul connections are currently in your life. If you're at a point in time when you feel alone or you feel as if you haven't found your people, I just want you to know the main thing I want you to take away from this video is that I promise you there are dozens of your soulmates out there right now who get you, who understand you, and who want to connect with you. So if you're out here feeling like you're being your authentic self, you're stepping into your power and it feels as if the karmic connections, maybe the people around you who aren't true soul connections are trying to tear you down or telling you you've changed, whatever it may be, just know that these aren't your people. This isn't your soul tribe. Those aren't your soulmates, but your soul tribe does exist. And as you continue to authentically express yourself, you will become a magnet for your people. You will magnetize the people who are truly meant for you through that authentic energy. And if you stumbled on this channel, remember there are no coincidences. Maybe this is where some of your people are in this community here, people who get your mind and understand you. So I hope that you will consider subscribing to this channel if I did resonate with you. Leave me a comment below and let me know about a time you experienced a soul connection. I absolutely have loved connecting with each and every one of you in the comments. I am so grateful for all of you who share your energy with me here on this channel. Again, check out my website, Sound and Soulful. You can check the description box of this video for more information about how you can use subliminal audio tracks to harness your subconscious mind and manifest all your heart's desires. Thank you so much again for joining me here today, and I'll talk to you again in the next podcast.